what we're going to build today is... I'm not sure if I'm going to set this up as a new playlist or continue my old uh, tutorial one. So technically the tutorial for it is over, but we're going to stay in that uh, <laughs> in that same world. Um, and the reason is because... Hey, Leon Dragon Cat. Uh, on that old world, on the tutorial fort world, our Dwarven Empire was dead. It was year, uh, like 125, I think is what we did. We did like a, a smaller, uh, uh, build. And the goblins had taken over, like, all of us. All the dwarves were dead. Well, no, they were all dead, but the Dwarven Empire was gone. There was no more Dwarven forts that were owned by dwarves. Um, and... Uh, the humans have actually taken out the elves. So that's all that's really left in the world is goblins and humans. So our goal today is going to be... This is what we're going to do for like the next, like, uh, four weeks, I guess. I guess for the February... We're going to call it the February 4th. Sure, that's a good name. Um, today and then for the next three weeks, what we're going to do is... I'm going to build a fort every week. So, uh, we'll build a fort today. And... Then next Monday, we're going to build another fort, and we'll check on uh, legends in between. We may do a little bit of adventure mode in there as well. Uh, but I want to do is see, so by four weeks, we should be able to get four weeks, uh, four forts built up. And um, we'll just see if we can uh, maybe reclaim the, uh, rebuild the dwarves, basically. Uh, we should be getting a king, some sort of royalty, nobility in there at some point. Hopefully find a, a castle for them. But uh, that's the plan. So we're uh, the plan today is just going to be to build one fort. We're gonna, as fast as we can build a sustainable fort. I guess would be the plan. I think with each one of these, hey Silver Dog. Uh, with each one of these though, we should uh, come up with something creative. Not just build like the same thing every time. That's kind of boring. Um, make something like. Well, I don't know. We have to come up with some ideas. Uh, not all the dwarves. There's only like a hundred and some dwarves left in the world. They're, uh, they're like, they're working for the goblins, enslaved by other folks. Um, let's see here. Actually, you know what? That's yeah, okay, we'll do this. I was going to pull up the uh, Legends mode to kind of show it off, but it's okay. <clears throat> okay, so we have to figure out where we're going to build. Now, uh, we looked at Adventure mo uh, Legends mode. Oh, is there a volcano? I didn't know we had a volcano in here. Um, so anyways, the um, the goblins started out over here. And... Is bigger? The goblins started out over here, and they have kind of taken over everything. The dwarves were at one time in the mountains here, and they have been overrun by goblins. We've got uh, humans down this way have sort of built around, and they've also taken out the elves up top here. Uh, Kate really wants... A volcano, as does Edgar. I've done a volcano for it before. Uh, it's right here. It's a little one. We could do that, though. We've got sand. Aqu There's an aquifer. Uh, actually not. If we did it, we'd have to do it like... We could do it like that. The hearth of... Is that what that's saying? The hearth of ferrying? Um... <clears throat> Problem is we're gonna be like right next to the goblins here. <laughs> um, what is the uh, what is that? What is that symbol? I don't think I've seen that symbol before. Is that like some sort of bigger city? I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see here. So if we build like, we have to be a little bit smaller. If you go like that, and then like. We could build like that. That way we'd, we'd have the the river. That's right. The Palace of Balls is the name of our civilization, by the way. Um, extreme Cliffs is where we would be. So we'd have like we'd have like the volcano up here, and it'd be just a bunch of cliffs going down into the river. We could like build it at the side of the volcano, I suppose. We've done a volcano one before when I made that goblin fort. What is this next to me? Is this what is this? Is this a goblin place? I think it is. Uh, we're the dwarves. We have humans and elves around. There's a few elves around. We're at war with the goblins. <clears throat> uh, we could try it. Extreme cliffs. Extreme cliffs. 
Uh, there are, according to this, there are no trees. Oh, we can't embark here, because there's, ooh. We can embark here, but we wouldn't get the river. Or we can make the embark zone bigger. We could do like this. Um, we won't be here for a long time, so my computer won't choke too much. We're not going to get that big of a population. That's not my uh, my settlement name. That's my oh, the Finger of Odors. That's the name of the uh, that's the name of the region, the name of the mountain range there. <laughs> uh, so we have, we'll have sand, shallow metals, and deep metal. We actually will have metal. Oh, we could maybe do this. What do you think? Everyone like this one? The volcano for our first dwarven fortress? It may be overrun by goblins before too long. The hearth of ferrying, I think is what that's trying to tell me, is what this volcano is. Um, let's see here. I'm going to pull up um, legends <clears throat> and see what's going on around this volcano. Maybe we can see some things. We want to pull up... Not that one. Not that one. Uh, that one. <clears throat> yes. Uh, okay, so here's the volcano right up here. We can't see it. Uh, let's go to the map. Yeah, so we have... How many dwarves are left on us? We got 168 dwarves. This was a few... A couple months ago, I think. So when this actually was loaded. <clears throat> um, so yeah, there's other humans. The humans are around us. It's like a, we have a human buffer. That's a human town that's right there. Partner Whip is the hamlet. 113 humans. That's a, quite a hamlet. Um, here is the volcano. There's a site right next to us. What's right? What is this? We have a lair that holds a uh, one narrow freak. Hmm. I don't know what a narrow freak is. I don't think I want to find out. Um, so yeah, that might be okay. We do have some goblins over here. Scorpion monsters, uh, with 600 goblins is right here next to us. But I think that's okay. This is where we were before. The Palace of Balls, which which has been overrun by goblins. What the ferrying? <laughs> uh, can I see, um, geography? Mountains? Would it be under mountains? Yeah, the Hearth of Ferrying. There it is. In the, the Finger of Odors. There it is. Doesn't really tell us much. But that's it. Okay. This is a, a Legends viewer with um, it comes with the lazy new pack. Will you forge the goblins killer, the best of all the weapons. <laughs> okay. Yes, the finger of odors, the palace of balls at the finger of odors. I like it. Embark. Uh, do we prepare? I guess we can prepare a little bit. Alright, so we have our seven dwarves. Uh, we're not going to give them any skills because... This text is not looking very good. Um, they will gain skills. Maybe we can give someone a mining skill, I suppose. Rokust. Um, yeah, you can have a little bit of mining. We'll give a couple miners. And uh, I want you to know how to... Grow. Anyone else need any skills? Maybe like a... A carpenter. Probably be a good idea. And a woodcutter. Platform to pit goblins in the volcano. <laughs> hey, Captain Dome. Our goal with this fort is going to be... This is going to be become the new dwarven home. I'm assuming this will become our new uh, dwarven fortress. Like where the... Head dwarves will come move in. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, okay, so we have picks, axes. We have a steel anvil. Do I have an iron anvil that I can get? Um, where's my... Pig iron bar. That's all I have? Hmm. We have 175 points. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Beer. We want plump helmet spawn. We're gonna add some more of these. We can get extra barrels. And 
few more plump helmets. 21. That's all fine. We don't need buckets or splints. We have a few trees around. Not a lot, but I have a few trees. We don't need those. Oops. Uh, I do want two picks. Um, so we have 300 points to put into uh, animals. What kind of animals do we want? We need some cats. Take uh, two girls and a boy cat. And same thing with the dogs. It gives us 200 points left. We could do... Do we want to do eggs? We could maybe do milk. Bring kittens. We're going to have plenty of kittens here in a moment. Um, we could do milk... Uh, some sort of milk? What, uh, what animal provides milk? Cows? If we bring a cow, we're going to have to uh, graze it somehow. What else can we bring? Water buffalo, geese... Alpaca, we could bring alpacas for the uh, the cloth, whatever you call it. Bunnies, camels. Can you milk llamas? Pigs provide milk, really? All mammals provide. Oh, in dwarf fortress, I mean. Really? <laughs> Can you milk a dwarf? Uh, okay, we can do pigs. Okay, we'll do uh, two girl pigs and a boy pig. We still have 71 points left. What do we want? We can do chickens. Uh, we. Mm, I don't think we need to. I miss uh, I miss masterwork and the uh, the crazy animals that you can have. We could do bunnies just to give something to uh, eat. That's a lot. There. The bunnies are cheap bunnies. Uh, we've got 65 left. Just bring a couple extra dogs. Not that many dogs. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna cow. No, we don't have enough for a cow. Ah, we don't have enough for anything. We can bring an extra pick. Hello, stream. Huh? Oh. Look at those frames drop. <laughs> What's going on? Hmm. Hmm. Everyone see me okay now? Seems to have just, it just dropped me for, uh, just because it wasn't to be angry. I don't know. That was strange. Um, okay. Well, let's embark. Yeah, that's about uh, it. Oh, now my, uh, now I'm over talking. That was strange. Yes, it was strange. I agree uh, myself. Okay. Well, let's embark. Pause. Oh, now my... You pause. <laughs> oh man, things are broken. We're okay now, though. I think. <laughs> okay, you've arrived! After a journey from the Mount Holmes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is here to make an outpost, here to make a fortress for all the glory of Kusoth Baban. Uh, almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You're expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but it is spring now, enough time to delve. Secure lodgings ere the dingoes get hungry. Uh, history begins here at this place. Goozle Nazum. Copper Dreams. Strike the Earth. Oh, that's a fantastic... Fantastic name. Alright, Copper Dreams. Ooh, here's the volcano. Ooh, yes, there is the volcano. And look at this cliff we're on. Oh, man. <laughs> that's quite a cliff. All the way down here to get to the trees. I thought it said there wasn't any trees down here. Oh, the trees. We even have like a little uh, inlet thing. What is all this? Obs really? What? Really? Why? This is obsidian. Really? Well, it looks like we're having an obsidian fort. Ooh. Um, 
You don't think this... Why would this be obsidian? You don't think there's magma back here as well, do you? This, of course, goes all the way through. Because it is a volcano. What's this? What was that? Real gar? I never even heard of real gar before. There's basalt. Now, uh, once we get to the top... What's this? Native... There's native gold walls? Really? Oh, my. And this is more obsidian? It is! We have obsidian and gold walls. <laughs> oh, man. What is this? White sand. Okay. Turquoise. And this is where the... Like, the mountain... Oh, you know, we look at this at... Uh, Oh, these are quite a peak. Quite some fingers. What was the name of the, the, the finger? Something. That light goes... Interesting. Um, okay, we need to look at... Um, where is it? I thought that... Yeah, I, I know the trees... I thought that it was said there was no trees down here, but the trees were over here. We're only in this biome over here. This is a new biome, this square here. Uh, so, okay, let's pull up Armok Vision. Let's take a look at this place. Oh, but we're gonna have the Finger of Odors. That's right. That's the name of it. So we're gonna have a, uh, Obsidian. The white sand is really cool looking, too. Obsidian and Gold Fort, I believe. <laughs> Eat the gold. Uh, that's all fine. Okay, let's see what we've got here. For those of us that can't see 3D things out of 2D. Is my number right? Is there 85 people in here? Let me look. I don't think that's correct. No, not correct. But, it's okay. Come on, Armored Vision. Load up for me here. Come on, Armic Vision. We don't have all day. Oh, look at all this stuff. You can, like... Really? You can do uh, commands now in Armic Vision? I did see there was a new update that... Uh, so, like, the animals show up uh, in the uh, in the map. Oh, you know, that, that was one of my plans, was one of these four forts. I was going to try one of them in ASCII to see if I could do it. This is taking forever. Ooh, it's so pretty, though. Okay. Ooh, it glows. Um, okay, so we have to turn. Wait, how do I turn? Turn was this way. I think we're looking at things like this. I want to look at it this way. Okay, we'll zoom out a bit. Hey, Craig. Um, so we can go down. Let this thing build. This is quite a mountain. Go by, I need to get iron and stats. I'm not sure what you're asking. Okay. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. So we can kind of see, it doesn't really show enough. Maybe because I'm not doing enough, uh, uh, enough quality, high enough quality. But we have the two mountain peaks here. We have a mountain peak here and over here. Look at it, like, it like comes. It just builds straight up. You see that? There's just an obsidian wall right here that's holding the magma, the lava in. <laughs> Why does it do that? Come on, come on down a little bit further. I think what we need to do. Oh, by them, can you get iron ore? Uh, any of them. Well, I think what we need to do is we need to build on top of the volcano. On top of the magma. We mine the obsidian. Or maybe our first... Where should we first dig in? Where's those white sand walls? This is loading okay. Yeah, it is pretty much Minecraft and DF. We could build in this little inside here, and then build like a a, a a bridge. 
over. Yeah. Something there's a mountain over there too. We also have this level, <clears throat> this layer here. That we could use, like, we could, like, come into here. We'll have, to do the, we'll have to build this quickly, but if we build, like, this will be our entrance. We come into this mountain here, this spire here, this finger here, I should say, uh, call it ice. And then we'll build a bridge to go over on top of the lava for, like, our, um, our temple. I don't know, what do you think? Okay, that's not looking. Let's look at it this way now. Go away. Like, if we build into this one, we have obsidian over here, and gold. We build into here, and then we'll eventually get a, a bridge that goes over on top of the volcano. Or we just build around the volcano. Yeah, that, that, that program always lags the stream pretty bad. Um, man, I don't know. I gotta hurry, though. What do we... We've got, like, two hours left. Let's build a fancy fort. So let's just start building something. So I think we should come in. This is a nice little plateau here. We should use this as a bit of an entrance. We have gold right here. We're gonna big, dig into the gold and then go basically straight up. That's what we'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it. Uh, there, we're going to dig. I need to fix my text because it's strange. So can you guys read that? Maybe like that. We're gonna dig, uh, I think all of this out. Why isn't it giving me... Isn't it all? That's a new feature. Okay. There we go. So we're going to dig straight into here. And we'll dig like an upstair. Um... Right here. And we're going to go straight up. Go ahead and do that. We're going to move everything pretty much up to here. Chop down these trees. Give us a bit of wood. Uh, we can gather some plants around here as well. Uh, P. Like that. Uh, we're going to place a wood stockpile just to have it around right here. And uh, that's good enough. So because these are sand walls, it means that we can build um, uh, a farm into it. We'll see what this ground is. Looks like it's going to be sand, though. Hey, Mr. Jelly Raptor. Oh, look at the gold in the walls. Gold nuggets. I think we need to build this fort. Man, I don't know. Do we build it of obsidian or of uh, gold? Which is more important? Trees are getting chopped. That's getting done. Um, we should probably go ahead and just like put in a stockpile place. We'll take out some of this gold as well. Like that. We'll make a big stockpile room. I think with, with each of these forts, I want to have some sort of specialty. So this fort will clearly will be the gold fort. Or obsidian. Gold and obsidian. Maybe the precious things. Uh, we can make golden... I don't know. Golden mugs. Golden... Um, everything. Uh, okay, so that's... We want to go up downstairs right above this one. Like that. And then go all the way up to the top. So like right there. Anything out here I should have looked. We have an eagle. And that is it. Oh, I didn't actually look at the animals in Armok Vision. I won't open it back up again. Um, golden statues of the nobles. <laughs> Obsidian walled with gold furniture. Yeah, that's we could do like golden chairs, golden tables. I mean this is the rise of the Dwarven Empire. We gotta make it flashy. We gotta come back in style. Let's get rid of those. Uh, actually, what's the key to... Oh, I can't remember. There it is. Control V. 
Um, to get farming done, however, we're going to need to be on sand. We could also do it inside. I think if we do... There's like a corridor there and something like that. Maybe. This will be sand and we can put... Uh, Put our farms back in there. Okay, so I'm gonna make a stockpile. I'm gonna make a new custom stockpile just with pretty much everything. Uh, enable. No corpses. Everything else, though. I can go right in here. Right there. Yes, we're going to eat gold. <laughs> Gold steak. <laughs> Look at all this obsidian over here. There's more gold over here. There's more obsidian over here. And that's not, like, hot. So we could just mine right into it and have obsidian. They told us we're going to uh, diplomacy and trade. Yes. that's uh, I guess that's the, ne the next update. Is, uh we'll be able to send out, like, trade caravans. This is Phoebus. Gold farming, that's exactly what we're doing. Look at all this, this thing is just like, maybe we just clean, like, clear cut this whole mountain. It's just filled with gold, what is the blue? Lapis lazuli. There was turquoise around there earlier also. I've never seen so many, like, precious metals in one spot. More obsidian. What is it we're digging into? Rhyolite. Is the fortress fully dwarfed right now? I'm not sure what fully dwarfed means. So we'll dig out. We'll put all of our workshops and things on this level. that. Um, we'll do... Yeah, I'll do both sides. This can be workshop land. Let's see if I can make a pretty fort this time. I can never... I never make very pretty forts. Uh, we can have, like, a stockpile zone over this way. I don't want to go too close to the edge. Because if we go up, it's going to be... I don't want to be, like peeking out on the top. Here I am saying I want a pretty fort and I made something like that. I need to forge some swords, I guess is what you're asking me. Oh yeah, I plan on naming dwarves, that's right. Something's about to keep mining. Uh, yeah, we should name some dwarves. Uh, that's right. Rourke, I saw your comment earlier on. All right, so uh, we'll let you be the expedition leader, Rourke. All right. Rourke, yes, Rourke, Fire Lord. Solar Dog wants a dwarf. All right, Solar Dog. Solar Dog. Anybody else? Edgar, I know you want one. Ah, I spelled it wrong. Air. Jelly. Raptor. Taco Man. Capitalizing your M. Emphasis on the man. Uh, we've got two names left. Who wants one in there? I'm naming one. Jimmy. You always have to have Jimmy the dwarf. One more. Did I get? Did I miss anybody? After. Oh, here we go. Dead Trevos. Did I miss anybody else? A 
Okay. Uh, I'll get you Alito and Barood. And did I miss someone else? Yeah, I'll get you guys next time. We get our uh, migrants. I'll get you in there. Okay, so there's our stockpile. Um, this is only basically just going to be uh, just a, a kind of sort of an entrance room. We may put some blocks or something in there. We won't use it too much. It's not the safest place. There's a porcupine out there. Ooh, what's this? Rough turquoises. Man, there's a turquoise. Uh, we did not get... Oh, we did. Okay. So, yeah. Is that... Oh, there's already... Why is there cave moss already? Strange. Uh, so we went to dig a... Or we went to... Build. Farm plot. I'm just gonna make a big one of... Plop helmets. Um... We can probably dig a bit more here. Like that, and get another plot in there. Just remind me when we get the next ones, because I will never remember. There was a hundred and... Well, I don't know how many are left now. As of right now, I'm not sure. Uh, as of before we did those adventure mode, like a few months of adventure mode, there was 168 dwarves. So there's probably a few less now. I should look. We'll look after this fort is done. At the end of the day, we'll look and see how many are... Uh, we'll redo Legends mode and, and take a look at everything. I should have named this, like, One Day Fort. That's probably what I should have named the, uh, the stream. So we're going to try to get all of our workshops in quickly. And I, want, I really want to get a bridge built over on top of this um, volcano. You know what we could do is we could build a platform on top of a volcano and have like our magma workshops on top of that. Oh, Mr. Jelly Raptor wants his direct description. Okay. Mr. Jelly Raptor. Noid when caught in the rain. Faithful worshiper of Ravel Help Shells. Member of the Mint Ra is that what I am? Or the Mint Razor? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Deeply recessed chin. Alright. Oh, a golden bridge. Yeah, that's right. That's what we need. Her hair is clean shaven. Her gold eyes are round. Of course it's gold. Nearly fused lobe ears are extremely tall. Those narrow eyelashes are quite long. Hair is buff. Her skin is a crew. Like steps and plaster. Black bronze. Right. Not a private person and freely shares details of her life. Can we craft dwarves from gold? We can make dwarven statues from gold. Your uh, Roval is your deity. Everyone else is just your friend. So, dog, let's look at you. Everyone's getting caught in the raid. They're angry about that. Yeah, we have no goblet yet. Incredibly tough, but he is very weak. What does that mean? Oh, you're old. 80 years old. Personally, finds the whole idea of introspection completely offensive and contrary to the ideals of well life well lived. Uh, oh, um, relationships? Oh, you're in love with Edgar. All oh, right. You can make some babies. Uh, okay, so let's build uh, a carpentry shop. And throw it here. And we need a mason there. Um, we don't need a bow here, I don't think. Craft dwarf. And um, we will need a butcher as well. Do we want to put them inside? I think maybe I will. I never put the butchers inside, but I think I will this time. I could put the still up there, too. I think I'm going to put that downstairs. What else do we want up here? A loom? Oh, leatherworks. That's what we want. Right there. Okay, so there's our three shops. Uh, we want to dig... Uh, um, something like this out. We'll put our still and our kitchen and all that back in there. What's going on over here? Edgar's eating some fish. Sorry, you guys don't have a table yet. More lapis lazuli has been struck. Um, so this, so we've got entrance room, which would be like the farming and, and that, and a few stockpiles. Uh, next up will be our craft land. All of our craft shops will be up here. Up next, 
I suppose should be like our living quarters and um, our uh, dining hall. So we should do, I'm gonna go out like that. So we'll have three, we'll make the yeah, dining hall can be up here. Oops, I'm something like this. I saw something on, I think it was on Reddit. Someone was talking about like, uh, like ideas for their fort. And one of the things they mentioned, which I thought was a kind of a cool idea, was you build an inn and whoever joins your fort through the inn, you have to build them an outside house. All of your dwarves will be underground, like dwarves do, and all of your humans and elves and things will live outside. So it ends up looking like a town, which I thought was kind of a cool idea. We won't do that this time, but maybe one of these times. Should I make this too? I probably should make it too wide. Go. Um, like that I'm gonna click. So this will basically do the same thing. Um, you know, we can just do this. we go. Uh, someone gets a tiny bedroom. <laughs> like that? Yeah. And... Like that, I think. We could even fit another hallway. Eh, probably not. If we get a king or something, he's going to have to come back here. We'll leave a hallway for him there. Like that. And like that. It's not quite symmetrical. It's close. Not quite. Eh, close enough. Look at that. It looks uh, almost Lovecraftian. That gives us, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. About 15 rooms we can put our... So this will be our dining room right in here. And this will be all of our uh, our rooms. I learned to play Dwarf Fortress. Uh, I watched uh, Twill 18, which is where I first was introduced to the game. And I learned the game... Like, I, I sat down and learned the game watching uh, Daz Tactics tutorial. That's where, that's where I learned it. Um, I want to build. And lots and lots of trial and error. Oops. Plot. Like that. Um, okay. And we want to build a still, or which be our first thing that goes in there. And we're also going to build a kitchen. I kind of maybe the kitchen should be upstairs. No, I think it's fine. What we could do, so the kitchen's right here. We could have a stairwell, like a, a hallway goes here and then to a little small stairwell that runs back here to like here and ends up going into here. Like we have a, um, a downstair here, an up downstair there. And an upstairs. There. There we go. So then they can quickly run the meals up to the kitchen. I do know about Aurora 4X. Um, I considered doing a Let's Play of it. I don't really know the game. I considered learning it and then doing and then playing it. But I didn't because it's just such. First off, it's like a. It's, my computer wouldn't be able to handle it. Um, once it gets like into the game, like the beginning of the game is, is easy, but once it gets into it, it would just certainly not handle it. It's just such a it's such a slow game. I don't know how it would work on a on a, a let's play. Maybe on like a Twitch stream, it would be fine, but not for uh, like a let's play. I mean, it took him what like 
It was like 20 episodes in, and he never, he didn't even get anywhere. I'm talking about Quill 18 whenever he played it. 20 episodes in, and it took him that long before. He never even met in a separate, a second race before then. So, maybe if there's, I don't know, maybe one of these days. Not anytime soon, though. I've also considered, like, Kerbal Space, Kerbal Space Program. It's another one my computer probably couldn't handle. It wouldn't be able to... It, part of the game has to be pretty. You know, you have all the pretty stuff when you hit space, and it wouldn't be pretty if I had to turn the graphics down. Oh, you want to be Commander. Um, I haven't set up my nobility yet. season is spring. What else do we need to get done? Oh, we need to get a butcher shop up. Uh, we can put it inside, I suppose. Uh, we don't have, man, we don't have to. We can put it in here. Our butcher and our tanner can go, yeah, like, like that. I've played a bit of Cataclysm. I've, uh, I have two Let's Plays of Cataclysm, actually. <laughs> That dude's not a needy guy. He's just here to watch and enjoy. Doesn't talk a lot either. We want some uh, sweet pods, sure, and let's throw in a dimple cup. Now, still, I need you to uh, do that. Mm, I want you to brew a drink from plants. Kitchen. I'm going to give you the job of making me some easy meals. Um, that's fine. Oh yeah, I haven't, I haven't shown off much of the volcano yet. It's crazy because it just, it like, comes, what was that? It comes out here like, oh no, it's a magma crab. Oh, are we gonna die? <laughs> Stay away, that's a lot of magma crabs. It just sort of comes up top here. We're gonna have to figure out a way of like building up and then over and then maybe putting like a staircase in or something to get up to there. We definitely need to get up there, though. Uh, yeah, nobility. Okay, so, bookkeeper. No one has any skill this yet. You want, uh, De Detravos to be bookkeeper? Sure. What was the other one? Oh, Edgar wants to be commander. You already are. Well, you're not. Oh, you want to be a militia commander? Uh, let's see. So, we'll give everyone else here jobs. No one else has any relevant skills. Solar Dog, congratulations. You're my new broker. Medical Dwarf. Jelly Raptor. Uh, my manager is going to be Taco Man. And uh, we don't need a hammer or sheriff just yet. I mean, we can put him in there, I guess. Rourke. Oh, Rourke already has the job. Uh, who do we have left? Jimmy. Who am I missing? Am I missing somebody? There's six. Yellow Raptor? Oh, he has a job. Who am I missing? Oh, Edgar can be commander. Edgar can be commander and sheriff. Sure. Were you the medic last time? <laughs> Alright, we'll get some plants done, and then once they start growing, we can start making some seeds. Um, we could do a farm outside. I don't know if that's necessary, though. Um, oh, our animals. I completely forgot about them. Let's throw them in here. Why is there cave moss inside of my tower? I'm very confused about this. Something like that. We're going to make this pen pasture... And I want... So pigs don't need to be pastured. Is that what you're telling me? The cows do. The axe. The bunnies need to be pastured? I didn't know that. Oh, the demon game. Um, and then I want the... This will be... Mm, the dogs need to be at the front. So the dogs can, like, stand around... Here. Put in... Not all the dogs. We'll put one of each. They can go in there. Um, the cats... Need to control... This... Really, I just want the cats to be inside. Something like that. Cats, they can have free reign of wherever. Not like you can tell a cat where to go anyways. 
Okay, so there are the cats. Maybe. Or maybe because this is... I don't know. There's just one patch of cave moss. There's two patches. Floor fungus. Hasn't grown any yet. <laughs> uh, okay, our crafting shops are done. We need to make some things. Uh, leather can't do anything just yet. But the mason, you're going to be making blocks for now. Uh, actually, I have a lot of things for you to be doing. But we'll get that for now. Carpenter shop, make me some beds. Um, lots of beds. And crafts dwarf. What do I want to make you? What do I want to have you doing? Mugs? Mugs, I think. Can I make the mugs out of gold? I don't think I can, because it's rock. Is that why it has to be a metal? I think so. Uh, well, yeah, make a couple mugs, though. So we're going to need some. Okay, we'll get some beds moved into here. This will turn into our dining room. We need, like, a food place. Put, like, a food stockpile inside here. Um, more turquoise. We should maybe uh, go ahead and get work on a gem crafter place. Not that I have enough dwarves for this. Jeweler. Over there. Uh, and this is going to become... We can specify this a little more. We'll do finished... Uh, no, I'm going to do it when I was doing before. Just a little bit of everything. We'll organize this later. For now, we'll just get everything sort of moved in and arranged. Um, we can remove this. What? Where's my... My caravan's just, like, laying out here? Because there's no place to... S Where's my wagon? A pig. Where's my wagon? Is it possible I didn't begin with a wagon because I didn't... There wasn't a flat terrain? I'm sure it doesn't appear to be a wagon there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess we won't remove the wagon. That's strange. <laughs> okay, uh, we want... This to be F1. Um, you can be F2. F3. And uh, we'll continue from there. The pig ate the wagon. Have you had it before? Hmm. Can you uh, do some uh, still things yet? All right, they're getting work on this. We'll put in our butcher shop and our tanner, and we can go kill some mm, ooh, chinchillas. We like chinchillas; they're delicious. And we have the gold. We should probably work on getting us some sort of a furnace soon, I suppose. I'd really like them to be on top of the the magma, though. So we're gonna, rather than just building a normal furnace, we're gonna work on getting there. I think, however, to get a magma uh, a magma um, smelter. You still need one piece of charcoal, don't you? I think you might. Let me dig out some of this obsidian. So yeah, so I think you still need one piece of charcoal. So I'm still going to have to have some sort of smelter. I could be wrong. Uh, we want E... A wood furnace. We need one of those. Well, we need one of those anyways for the charcoal. Initially. And then... Once we have that charcoal, then we can... You don't need coal. 
I thought you needed I thought you needed one piece of coal to start up the, the magma furnace. How's those beds coming? There's so much gold in these walls. <laughs> I know this is crazy. Uh, jewelers are still being worked on. You made me some leather armor. You're not going to be able to for a bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and set up the workflow. I'm going to get yelled at about it. You'll see some messages down here about it yelling at me not making them. But uh, that's fine. Just make. Just have one to two laying around. I am I right? Two later, was there one dwarf over? I'm not sure what that means. You asking about names? And hey, Mr. Dinjobble. Din Let's move. I know people are going to panic. So we need to get these, these rocks moved. I got more comments about my rocks in the last fort than anything else. I think to start the forge, like to part of building the forge, is you have to have a piece of magma. Oh, there's more obsidian. There's plenty of obsidian, though. There's plenty down here we can dig down and. Oh, yeah. Um, let's dig up a little thing here. Like that. We're going to put a door there. That way, if, in case we come across something terrible, we can block it off. But this will be our doorway down. How's those beds coming? Are we building beds? Um, mug, rock, bed. Nobody's building any beds. Build the beds! Those, uh, yeah, it looks like the, uh, magma crabs went away. Bunch of sand down here too. We could also make a. Oh, you know what we could also do. Um, what's it called? The. Uh, where is it? To make the sand, we need a glass furnace. Yeah, let's do that. Make some things out of glass. We really need more people here. I could have made that out of obsidian. Uh, and then we're going to set up... I don't think I ever did... Did I ever do this in the uh, my tutorial? I may not have. Uh, we're going to set up just this spot here as a sand spot. So we'll collect the sand and then we can make things. I know this place is crazy. And then we have the volcano right next to us, which we will eventually build towards... Um, that sand. Yellow sand. There's more obsidian rust, like an obsidian floor. <laughs> yes, I know you need tanned hides. Speaking of tanned hides, is that the sound a rabbit makes? We want a butcher, which is you. You can go right there. And we also need a tanner, which is in. Yeah. Right there. We're going to make a corpse stockpile, which probably shouldn't be inside like this. But it'll be okay. So we'll tan the hides there, and then they'll get carried upstairs into our leather workshop. We can make uh, leather armor. And once this gets dug out, we'll turn this into a uh, like a uh, just a rock stockpile, so all of our rocks can get hauled into there. I don't want people panicking about rocks being laying around. Uh, brew drink from plant. There we go. 50 to 80. Yeah, that's probably fine. How are we looking here? We have no meat, no fish. Three plants. Seeds drink. But we're doing okay. We're fine. Um, seeds. I want you to... I don't have any plump helmet seeds at the moment. I want you to not cook the plump helmets. Please. Beer's doing fine. Okay. It won't work. 
Yeah, you're going to be telling me that a lot, aren't you? I need to cancel that order. <laughs> Let's make a stone stockpile right over here. And I'm going to turn settings take stone off of this one. I want to no, I want to disable stone. There we go. Okay. And uh, this one. Okay. So stone will all get hauled into this one spot. Um, yeah, we should make some doors. We're wide open right now. Aeson's working on some blocks at the moment, but, uh, actually, I don't think we're doing anything. There's no one here. Uh, let's make, we want to make a few doors. Like, three doors. Um, we're also going to need to make some chairs and things. You know. Wood furnace is getting... Once that wood furnace gets made, we could we could just make everything out of gold. Everything could be made of gold. And I think it needs to be. We need more migrants first. Hopefully some migrants show up. We should get... I think no matter what, you're going to get your first wave of migrants. Whether you have dwarves in the world or not. Let's throw in... Let's continue this as a stone stockpile. Um, animals. We need to be training our dogs to, uh... We want war. Yeah, just everyone on war is fine. I don't care who trains them. Um... I'm sure you can be available, that's fine. Yeah, sure, whatever. So we'll get our doors, we'll put our doors right in here. We're going to have to put a wall here because you can't put three doors next to each other. The doors have to have walls on both sides of them. So we will have to build a wall right here. We can make it out of obsidian. It's not as cool as gold, but it's fine. What is this? Monarch Butterfly. Animal has been become a stray war dog. Hooray! We can build a golden bridge. We can also build an obsidian bridge. We have turquoise as well. Mm. Alright, so let's put some beds in here. They'll never, if they ever get built, put some beds in here. Um, this will eventually turn into where we'll have a bigger room. We don't have any offices for our nobles. Should they go up st up one more level? I think that's where we need to put it. I don't want to do it just yet, though, because I want to make sure we get some things made. It's tanned hide. Um, butcher... Yeah, things aren't getting done. Let's see here. Auto labor is on. Or the auto whatever. Automatic job assignments. So folks should be doing things without me having to tell them. No one's on construction though. I'll turn that on a few of you. We have a brewer in, uh, looks like Jimmy. He's got a five mining already. We have three miners. I don't only think I set up two miners, didn't I? No, I did bring a third pick, didn't I? That's right. Taco Man's a carpenter. Edgar is our wood cutter. Apparently he wants to hunt. 
instead. Okay, that's fine. And yeah, automate job zones and just turn that all off. Yeah. We'll let it go for a while. We can turn that off in a minute if we need to. Oh, our door is here. Our obsidian door. Nice. Butcher shop. I need you to butcher dead animals, please, forever. And uh, yeah, do all do all of them. And uh, you tan hides, but there's no hides to tan. And then as soon as we get a door, which may or may not happen. Oh, we do have some doors. We're gonna have to replace these before too long. Rhyolite is not gonna be is not acceptable. Not an acceptable material. These are still being weighted. Beds, blocks, leather armor. Crafts dwarf. I think we need to just make some more mugs for now. Okay. Let's take a look at one of our dwarves and see what they're thinking. Look at you. Any relationships? Uh, Fugigbaros is your god. Alright. What is this about proper living? What do you mean? You're living in like a golden obsidian place. Uh, I know we like the theft of chairs. Uh... Annoyed after having a drink without a goblet, caught in the rain, sleeping on a rough cave floor. Yeah, these are all fun. That's talking with a friend. Skin is tan, dumb what? No, broad head. Okay. Noble's offices. Why not putting one stair under their bedroom? Uh, we could maybe. Oh, you know, we could do something like maybe up. Because down is, is sort of... Well, down will, will be sort of used. This is going to be all craft land. But we could put, like, a stair in their office, or in their bedroom, and make an office above it. Maybe. That might be kind of cool looking. Got all that gold in here. We're going to have to cut all this stuff out and then rebuild these walls. All right, what is everyone doing? Is everyone working? We have plenty of drink. Yes. No meat. No fish. There wasn't any... Wait, there was water here. That's the whole reason I grabbed... It's a long ways away. That's the whole reason I grabbed this was to get this river. So that we could do... Uh, this. Like that. For fishing and a water source. That's the whole reason I grabbed this. Um... I could put a fishery over here. Should I go ahead and put it way over here? What is fishery? H. Might as well. Okay. Interesting how it's just like a... It's like completely straight. <laughs> I mean, I want... I, I'm really curious as to if this is all obsidian. I know I'm using up all my jobs. But let's dig all this out. I don't know, some of this tetrahedrite. Mm. Oh, yeah? What's this? Clay. We have native copper walls right here. Lots of digging. What's the red? I saw that before. Yeah, real gar, which I don't know what real gar is. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna look it up. What is real gar? Is it R E A? Real gar? Oh, there it is. It's that. Ooh, very fancy. What do you use it for? Arsenic sulfide mineral. Ruby sulfur. Where's like its use? Oh, 
Oh, provides nearly all the world's supply of arsenic as a byproduct of smelting. Cool. No, oh, used to create the color white in fireworks prior to the to the uh, that stuff. Fancy. Toxic. The little uh, outbuilding for it. It's probably a good idea. Keep it somewhat safe. Oh, we do have our doors. So we are actually inside right now. Uh, we need to get s some sort of a fence. I wish there was a way of building a fence. Like a, there should, uh, a fence um, thing. Rather than just building a wall. Just like a wooden fence. To keep our animals in. But our dwarves can hop over easily. It would just look cooler. So we're going to dig. I want to go ahead and start digging this up because I'm going to make sure we get this done. We're going to dig. Um, I think to do this safe, we should dig over. Um, is that necessary? How are we going to do this? I'm going to have this. This is all going to come up the top. And then we're going to have a, uh, a red bridge going over. Red bridge? A, uh, a bridge of some kind. Either obsidian or gold. So we could just dig straight up. It's not safe. It's not safe at all. If we just build out like that, we could put a wall around it. Like that. So the wall would have to be... We just like chop off the top of the mountain? It goes up to this point right here. Why is it playing this song? I'm scared. I think maybe we just chop off the whole mountain. To make it flat. We could channel that down. And channel all of these, I think, would be... So then we'd have a flat surface. Let's try that and see what happens. We'd have a flat surface, then we could build our... Uh, like a little tower at the top, which would have a bridge that would go across. And needs empty four. Oh, right, I didn't make any barrels. Carpenter, make me some barrels, please. And a few bins. Uh, are you working? Glass furnace is working. Wood furnace is not. Glass furnace. Uh, go ahead and collect some sand. Yeah. Masterwork is... Yeah, just more content. I wouldn't say it's harder. I certainly would, would not recommend Masterwork if you don't know what you're doing. If you're new to Dwarf Fortress. We need to get some doors in here. Do we have enough obsidian now? To where we can start making things out of obsidian. Yeah, come on. So, Mason... Make doors. Put this on repeat. Uh, that's actually fine. But... How do I, can I change the material? Yeah. Um, I don't want any material, though. Here we go. I never messed with this before. Uh, we want specific material. These are only going to be made out of. It's going to be in the rock, right? Rock. That's not what I want. Here we go. A 
obsidian. Okay, so we have only obsidian doors. Okay. Why? I mean, you can't produce obsidian doors. Fine. Whatever. Just make some doors. And... Door. Shift P. Okay. One more right here. Um, and then our furnace needs to get done faster. Thanks, Con... Conike? Conish? Turquoises are being cut. Excellent. And where's my uh, my next band of migrants? I could really use them. This music really freaks me out when I play Dual Fortress. For those of you that know what it happens when you, <laughs> when you start hearing this music, it's never good. It's bad. Fishery. Yeah, do that. And, uh, yeah, that. I don't actually know what... Uh, what does extract from raw fish actually do? What do you get from raw fish? Is it, can you get, like, oils from them? Hey, Kipo. That's no hill. This is the, uh, the Finger of Odors. Is where we at. Our hill filled with gold and obsidian. Um, how's this looking? I think we can... Can we get up there? I think we can. There's just not enough of us. We're just not... We're just busy doing everything else. So we'll chop off the top. We'll have a bit of a tower thing. And then we're gonna... We could actually even build our tower up. And then head straight over. We don't do any sort of walking up. What is this? A skink. And, and then build over on top of our, uh, our volcano. Ooh, are you done? No. What do you need? Masonry. Her mog juice. Really? <laughs> okay. Uh, masonry. Mason, they're just busy. I'm gonna make them a little bit more busy. So we're going to make, we're going to cut this out, make room for a bit more uh, workshops. Actually, we could come like this, and even fit more uh, workshop room back here. This will be all uh, workshop land. Kinds of magma defenses, that's right. Shower our enemies with magma. What was the name of this place? The ferrying something of ferrying? The ferrying finger? I don't know. Oh, uh, you know what? It is break time. So we're gonna do that. Um what we're gonna do I think next I don't I really wanna Oh here they are, they're working on it. Okay, excellent. They're they're chopping the top of our mountain, so it'll be a bit a bit flatter. We'll work on building a tower up there. That's what we'll do when we come back. We'll get a tower built up, and then work on getting our bridge that goes going to go across. Ooh, no. Oh, up here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is there... Oh? Okay. Nothing terrifying. Did anyone die? Oh, no! <laughs> Wait, he just... Oh, no. Where is he? <laughs> He's missing. We don't know where he is. <laughs> where could he have gone? He was just... <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna take a break, and uh, maybe we'll come back and find our new. We don't need to be losing dwarves; we need to be finding new dwarves. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> 